Civil Engineering Academy, helping you in your journey to pass the PE. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Civil Engineering Academy. Today we're solving a problem from transportation. I encourage you to pause the video and solve it. If you're ready to go, let's do it. A car traveling downhill on a 2% grade collides with a beer truck. Huh? I, add, I added that, sorry. The impact speed was estimated to be 40 miles per hour. Brake marks were visible for 190 feet. What was the speed of the car in miles per hour before applying the brakes if the coefficient of friction is 0 0.40? So the first thing I'm going to do is look up in the CERM kinematic equations, and to do that, I'm going to look at table 71.1, and in there there is an equation that says v naught equals v squared minus 2as. Initial velocity equals the square root of final velocity minus 2 times acceleration times your distance. So we know. Well, everything but acceleration. So how are we going to get that? We're going to get that by looking at one thing is this diagram. This is basically in the CERM figure uh, 72.6 in the edition that I'm using. You can probably remember this from physics, but you got some sort of vehicle here or some block. You have the force of friction going this way. You have this force that is driving this thing down. You have the weight and you have a normal force. Weight is mg. This is going to be mg cosine of the angle. And we're talking about this angle is the same as this angle. And here, this force here is going to be weight times the sine of the angle. And friction is mu friction times um, uh, weight times cosine of the angle. And all of those values can be looked at if you're looking at figure 72.6. It goes over some of the uh, equations of this if you do not remember your physics. So we're going to use two equations. One you remember real easy. Force equals mass times acceleration. The other one we are pulling from this nice graph and that is force. This force that's driving down this down is going to be equal to the mg, I'm taking this, mg sine of theta, weight is equal to mass times gravity, minus the force of friction, which is mu mg cosine theta. So what we're going to do is set these two equal to each other and solve for a. So ma equals mg sine theta minus mu mg cosine theta. All your m's cancel. Acceleration is sine phi minus mu g cosine the angle. We don't know the angle, so we're going to look at the rise over the run, which we were given as 2% or 0 0.02, right? Well, it takes it by 100, yeah, 2%. So you need to also remember that the tangent of this angle is opposite over adjacent, or rise over run. So you can set these two equal to each other. Tangent of phi equals 0 0.02, and that means for the angle, I get 1.15 degrees. Plug that into here. Oops, there's a G in here. Don't forget that. Okay, let's just plug it all in. So that's 32.2 for gravity, feet per second squared, times sine of 1.15 degrees, minus mu, which is given as 0 0.4, times 32.2, times cosine of 1.15 degrees, and acceleration I get is negative 12.23 feet per second uh, squared. Okay, it's negative because we're decelerating. So now that we have acceleration, we can go back to our equation. V naught equals the square root. Now the final velocity was given as 40 miles per hour, and we need to get everything in the same units. So 40 miles per hour times, there's a nice little table at the beginning of the CERM that says you take miles per hour and you multiply it by 
1.4667. That gives you feet per second. And that gives me 58.67 feet per second. Plug that in here, 58.67 squared minus 2 times a negative 12.23 feet per second squared times the distance of 190 feet. So you can see the units here, you're going to get feet squared per second squared. This will also be feet squared per second squared. Okay, solve this. What do you get? I get uh, 89.9 feet per second. And now you go back to the CIRM, and if you multiply that by 0 0.6818, it takes you back to miles per hour, and I get 61.3 or just 61 miles per hour, which looks like the closest answer here is actually A on this. 61 miles per hour. So this was a lengthy one, but it's going to test you on your kinematic equations, making sure you know uh, those for the P exam. I hope this helped you out. Head to Civil Engineering Academy for more tips and tricks. Thanks, bye.